Hey everyone, The Wicker Man 1973 is one of my favourite films. I'm pagan and know that some people don't like the inaccurate portrayal of pagans in this film, but as the film is a work of fiction, I think we can enjoy the story without comparing it to any branch of paganism, modern or historical. I recommend the director's cut over the theatrical. The director's cut adds a lot of atmosphere and character development. I'm going to get into spoilers now, so stop the video now if you don't want spoilers. The image used for most physical and digital promotion is great if you've seen the film, but could be a spoiler for anyone who hasn't. The Wicker Man follows a Christian police officer going to an island to investigate a report of a missing girl. Only when he gets to the island does he realise everyone on the island is a pagan who wants to sacrifice him in a giant wicker man to ensure a good harvest. Starring Christopher Lee, Edward Woodward, Britt Eklund and Ingrid Pitt, it feels very much like a Hammer film even though it isn't one. I see this as a good thing because Hammer created a classic style that draws the viewer in. The Wicker Man is a fairly slow moving film and I wouldn't say any of the visuals are scary, but the story itself could be. For the story to be scary, you just have to believe that there are people in an isolated area who want to kill strangers. So what makes The Wicker Man a good film when compared to more modern examples of a group of people trying to kill outsiders like House of a Thousand Corpses? In my opinion, the lack of gore. Now don't get me wrong, I love gory films, I'll happily watch films just for the cool gore effects, but gory films aren't often the ones that leave a lasting fear in my mind. The more special effects a film has, the less realistic it tends to look in years to come. Everything in The Wicker Man still looks real, but some of the effects in House of a Thousand Corpses have aged badly enough to be funny. I love House of a Thousand Corpses by the way, I just can't honestly say it still looks as good as it did when it came out. Nothing in The Wicker Man takes me out of the story. The end scene in The Wicker Man in particular manages to be haunting and unforgettable without any need for overly graphic gore or violence. They had one shot at getting that scene right because they only had one Wicker Man. The animals and Edward Woodward are actually in the Wicker Man for some of those shots. Forced perspective is used for the rest, as they obviously didn't kill Edward Woodward or the animals. Modern horror films tend to have much faster pacing, so the Wicker Man probably won't appeal to those who expect faster pacing and jump scares. However, it will leave you with the horrific idea that you would be powerless against a group of people wanting to kill you. Thank you very much for watching everyone and I will see you next time.